If you're struggling with Amazon ads, then watch this video and try this simple and profitable ad strategy. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Sean and I've built and sold a seven figure Amazon KDP business and now I'm building my new KDP account. So if you want no BS publishing advice from someone who's actually doing it, then make sure to subscribe. And if you want a completely free training on how I built a Amazon KDP business to this level, then the link to the training is in the description below. All right, so in this video, I wanna go over a simple and proven Amazon ad strategy for beginners because a lot of people in my previous videos commented that you guys wanted a Amazon tutorial video. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a full walkthrough on how to exactly set up your Amazon ad campaigns. I'm gonna go over the basics, the actual campaigns you should set up, how to optimize those campaigns, and basically everything you need to know to get started. I use this strategy to make hundreds of thousands of dollars for my own Amazon KDP business. So with that being said, let's get started. So first thing first, why should you run ads? Well, ads helps push the book up in ranking, which means it increases organic sales as well. So the way the Amazon algorithm works is it doesn't really matter whether you make the sales organically or whether you make the sales uh, through ads. A sale is a sale and every time you make a sale, you basically move up in the organic ranking uh, for whatever keywords that you're ranking in, which means that the more sales, the better. So obviously if you run Amazon ads, get a lot of sales there, then your organic ranking increases as well, which means more organic sales uh, that results from it. So it's kind of a win-win situation by running ads, and it is the fastest way to get results in your business. Now, you don't have to run ads to succeed, but it is highly recommended because you can just get results much quicker that way. So the mindset you wanna have when it comes to running ads is, as do not sell books. It only shows your books to more people. So this is the biggest thing you have to understand is, Ads only show your books to more people. It does not sell the book, right? So if the book is fundamentally bad, it's unattractive, the cover's bad, it's in a keyword or it's in a niche that nobody's looking for, no matter how many people you show the book to, if nobody wants it, then it, you're not gonna get sales, okay? So if you have a bad book, no ad setup will work. No matter what you do, even if you have a perfect Amazon ad strategy, if you just have a fundamentally bad book, no one's going to buy it, okay? But if you have a good book, you know, good cover, good title, a lot of positive reviews in a good niche or a good keyword so people are actually looking for the book, you can just run a very mediocre ad setup and it'll still work well because people are looking for that book. Another thing to understand is there's no one perfect way to set up ads that guarantee success. A lot of people have this idea that there's this one secret way to set up Amazon ad where if you set up this exact type of campaign with this exact bids creating it in a you know exact time like saturday night at 10 p.m and if you target this many keywords that is the secret method to running ads that'll work for every single book that you have in regardless of what niche or topics that you're in and that is not how it works okay there is no one perfect way to set up ads that absolutely guarantees success the way ads actually work is basically you have to constantly test new campaigns new targets and you, you just see what works and what doesn't and you keep the ones that works and you turn off the ones that doesn't work. It's never going to be set it and forget it. It takes time because you have to constantly test new targets. Even if you have a target that's performing well after a couple months, it stops performing and that's why you have to create new campaigns, right? So it takes a lot of time the more books you have. In the beginning, it's not a lot of time to be completely honest uh, because you don't have a ton of books. But as you scale, you know, it's definitely something that you should be outsourcing to someone who can do this full time. But as you scale, it's definitely one of the first things you should be outsourcing. So if you're wondering what makes a good book, because we talked about how if you have a bad book, no matter how many people you show it to, you you're not gonna get sales, right? So what makes a good book? Well, a good book is in a keyword that actually has high demand, so people are looking for this book. Uh, it has an attractive cover and title, well-made description and A-plus content, and it has lots of positive reviews. Uh, at least 15 reviews is what I typically recommend, but the more the better. So before you start running ads, you wanna make sure that your book actually has this. So if you do have a good book like that, then we can move on to the setup process. So this is the setup that I recommend, which is to start with one manual targeting keyword campaign and one manual targeting product campaign. Now, two weeks later, you're gonna start with the automatic targeting campaign. 
after two weeks or around the same time as you set up the automatic targeting campaign, you can start adding winning keywords into a scale campaign. And you can do this for ebook and paperback, but if you don't have time or if your ebook is not profitable, then you can just do this for paperback. So essentially you're setting up four campaigns. All right, so to set up your Amazon ad campaign, go to your KDP dashboard, click on marketing here, then come down to Amazon ads, and we're gonna start with the .com, but you can also do it for .uk and also uh, for Canada because US, UK, Canada is the three best marketplace to run Amazon ads to. So let's start with the .com, go to the ad console. And once you sign in, it'll look something like this. Now, going back to this slide real quick, I just want to touch on why we're not starting the automatic targeting campaign immediately at the same time as the manual targeting campaign and why we are waiting two weeks uh, instead. The reason why is because with automatic targeting campaign, you're essentially telling Amazon that, hey, you go and, you know, choose keywords and products uh, to target for my book. And Amazon will basically look at your title, subtitle, your seven backend keywords, and the categories you choose. So the information in the metadata to go and you know find relevant targets. But when you initially publish a book, you know Amazon has very limited data on what your book is about. Once again, they can only see the information in your metadata, and because you don't have any sales history, that is a very limited data, right? If that makes sense. So instead, what we want to do is to train Amazon what your book is about by manually choosing keywords and manually choosing products that is relevant to your book and go and run ads to that, make some sales. And now Amazon has sales history for your book. And now Amazon sees that, okay, this book is getting sales from these keywords. So it is probably about this topic. So now they have a better idea. Now, when you go and run automatic targeting campaign two weeks later, they can do a better idea guessing which keywords and products uh, to rank your book. So usually the performance of the automatic targeting campaign uh, is better doing it this way. So with that being said, let's start with the tutorial on how to create a manual targeting keyword campaign. So it's actually very simple. All you have to do is go to Amazon. So let's say I got a word search book. So all I do is go here to the search bar and click on or search word search. And you see there's a lot of suggestions here. And because I have this uh, Chrome plugin called AMZ Suggestion Expander, it's free. So go and look this up. Uh, this is the icon right here. I have a uh, ton more suggestions as well. So all we do is literally just click on the corner here if we can, and then drag it all over here and then command C because I got a Mac, but you just basically copy this. Go back to Amazon, click on create campaign, uh, click on sponsored products, click on standard ad. And you want to search for your book right here, which once you click on it, you will see over here on the right side. Then come down and click on manual targeting. Keep it a keyword targeting. And you can see that Amazon will suggest to you a bunch of keywords. So if you think this is relevant, then you can add it in here by clicking on add. But in our case, we got our keywords. So we're just going to go and enter list and then paste the keywords that we got. Now you do have to clean it up here because, you know, the question mark at the end of each one, uh, we don't need that. So we just got to go and delete each one. Also, this keywords before thing, we're just going to delete that too. And same as the keywords after the other. And once again, delete all the question marks. I'm not going to do it because uh, it's going to take some time, but you get the idea. So once that is done, uh, we want to make sure to keep the match type at only broad. So make sure it's only broad for the suggested bid. We're going to create a custom bid. OK, and this is what I recommend. If you're doing high content books, uh, 65 cent is a good place to start. It's just a starting bid. Uh, so we're going to adjust it later on. So it really doesn't matter. But for low content books or, you know, medium content books like word search, I would suggest you start with something a little lower, like 30 cents. OK, so now you click on add keywords and we just added 18 keywords inside. You can skip the negative keyword targeting. And for the campaign bidding strategy, we're always going to do down only. So dynamic bids down only. Uh, this is the most conservative and you won't overspend uh, by doing this. So campaign name, you can do something like word search manual keyword and then you can put uh pb for paperback keep the start date the same uh no end date the daily budget i recommend you do something like ten dollars a day if you can but if you really have a low budget then you can do something like three dollars a day but one thing i would say is the faster you can spend the quicker you can get data and the quicker you can optimize and you know get results that way so don't be scared of spending money uh don't look at it as you're just losing money you're you know paying to get data quicker 
okay another thing i would say is with amazon as uh, they rarely spend the daily budget so you can have a ten dollar a day budget and it basically rarely spends the entire 10 bucks so in this case we're just going to do five dollars for those who are on a uh, low budget as an example and you can click on launch campaign all right so that was a manual keyword campaign now let's go back and do the manual product targeting campaign which is very easy once again let's say you got a word search book right so you search for your main keyword in Amazon. And once you get to the search results here, all you're doing is collecting the ISBN or the ASIN uh, of the books that are ranking on page one. So we're gonna just go and target these ones. So collect these, uh, we got an ASIN here, so you know, take note of that. We got the ISBN 10, so you know, copy paste this into a notepad, okay? So each one of this, and you do that for the entire page one. Now this is kind of a manual process, but there's also a plugin called the ASIN Fetcher here. And this is also a free plugin, but when you click on the click here to fetch ASINs, it basically just does exactly that. So now we got the ASIN uh, immediately right here. So what I'm gonna do is just try and copy this entire thing and we will bring it over to the Amazon ad dashboard. All right, so now we're back and then click on same thing, sponsored products, continue. Same as last time, click on standard ad and find your products down here. Once again, click on manual targeting. Now this time it's different. We're gonna click on product targeting right here. Now we do have an option to select categories. Uh, there is a category uh, campaign that you can run. So basically running ads to a category. This is another campaign type that you can test. Uh, but in our case, we're gonna do individual products. So same as usual, like Amazon is gonna suggest you individual products. If you feel like it's relevant, you can add it. Uh, make sure it's added as an expanded, which is already set here. But in our case, we have uh, our list. So we're just gonna copy paste this inside and click on target. Now make sure it's selected as expanded and not exact, okay? Actually, before you do that, go here to the bid uh, and change the suggested bid to same thing, custom bid. Uh, if you're doing low content books or medium content, start with 30 cents. If you're doing high content, 65 cent is a good place to start. Okay, click on target. And now we got these added. And one thing I wanna say is you never wanna add more than 30 targets per campaign. So both manual keyword, manual uh, product, we're under 30. So 15 to 30 is a is the right place to be at. Okay, so now we're gonna click on uh, same thing, dynamic bids down only. And for the campaign type, we're gonna do book title, the ad type, so manual product, the bidding strategy, so down only, and the paperback, okay? And the same thing, five bucks a day. And launch campaign. All right, finally, let me walk you through the automatic targeting campaign that you can do after two weeks of running those initial campaigns. So click on sponsored products. Same as usual, click on standard ad, find a product here. And now we're selecting automatic targeting right here. And the default bid, 46 is actually a pretty good place, but once again, we're gonna choose 30 cents here. And we're going to skip negative keyword campaign and go back to uh, dynamic bids down only. And the campaign type is word search, auto, down only, paperback. So automatic targeting is super easy and you can do five bucks a day. Once again, I do recommend you spend 10 bucks a day uh, as it never really spends the actual full budget. Uh, so I usually set it at 10 bucks, but you can do five bucks too. Okay, and then launch campaign. So I just showed you how to do all that uh, with free tools and more of a manual method. But if you do wanna pay a little bit to save time, then Publisher Rocket is a great tool to have. So Publisher Rocket has different features, uh, but if you go to the AMS keyword search, you can keep this at book and you just type in your main keywords. So in our case, it's word search. And you can see right here that these are all the keywords uh, and this is the type. So Amazon suggestions, this is the exact uh, locations, Amazon suggestions, right? The, the suggestion bar is where we got our targets for the manual keyword campaign. So these are all the targets that we got uh, neatly listed here. So we can just go and copy paste it. The cool thing is it gives you more suggestions than our free method. So we can go and test out more targets here. And now we have A to Z suggestions. So it's just expanding that even more. So we got, you know, a ton more uh, keywords to test. And next we got the actual book title and also the ASINs, right? So this is the manual product targeting campaign that we can do. And same thing, it gives us a lot more suggestions as well as the author name. So we can actually go and target author names 
uh, with the manual keyword campaign and the book title too. So, you know, there's a lot you can do with Publisher Rocket. It just saves you a lot of time uh, finding these targets. And there's another tool called Helium 10 where I made a separate lesson and I'm just gonna link that below this lesson. But this is more of an advanced method to finding additional keywords that your competitors are running ads to. So if you guys wanna check out the video or uh, check out Publisher Rocket, the link is below this lesson. All right, so now let me give you a demo on finding winning keywords and winning products uh, to move into your scale campaign. So after a couple weeks of running those initial campaigns, which are the manual keyword campaign, and then also the automatic targeting, some keywords or some products uh, will convert really well for you. So those are the winning targets that we want to move to a scale campaign because we know it converts. So now we want to focus more on that and uh, run ads specifically to those. So go into your existing campaigns like this one and then go into or click on the ad set here and then click on search terms. And what you want to do is go to filter here, right? And then click on orders is greater than or equal to three. And it'll show you all the products and keywords that has more than three orders. So those are the ones that's converting well. Now I don't have that because I stopped running ads to this uh, book a while ago and you can only go back to the last 65 days. But essentially that's what you do. You will see the keyword and the product. So you just copy that into your list. And it's pretty much the exact same process. So you go to sponsor products. So you set up the ad the same way, click on manual targeting and you will select keyword targeting for the keyword scale campaign and product targeting for the product scale campaign. The only difference is this time we're going to enter the list and we're going to enter that winning uh, keywords here. But the only difference is we're going to select exact instead of broad. Okay. And then for the bid, now that we know that it's a converting keyword or converting product, we can bid a little higher because of that, right? So instead of starting with 30 cents, we can do something like 60 because we know, you know, our book sells in that target. And then you will add that. It can just be couple keywords to start. It doesn't matter as long as it's less than 30 uh, per campaign. You can just have a few targets per campaign. That's okay. So that is the only difference in setup is you just select exact and everything else is the same. For the bidding strategy, it's still down only. However, if you know that your book converts really well for that uh, keyword or product, then you can go a little more aggressive with down only or up and down. However, if you want to be more conservative, you can stay with down only. And for the campaign name, you can just change it to something like word search, exact keyword, down only, paperback, the daily budget, same thing, 10 bucks or something, and then launch campaign. Uh, obviously for the daily budget, now that we know that it works, uh, you can go and increase that even higher so that you can scale this, right? Then you go back and do the same thing, but this time for the exact product campaign, just move your winning products over here. All right, so that was the walkthrough of how to set up each campaign. What you want to do is to start off with the US because that's the biggest market unless you have a book that is in another language and obviously you want to go and run ads for whatever language or whatever market you're in. But mainly you want to do this for US, then you want to test out UK and Canada because those are the three uh, biggest markets. However, you can test other market as well. Now in terms of optimization, this is what you want to do. Okay, so these are the steps. You want to only optimize if you have minimum 1000 impressions uh, per campaign and 10 clicks per target. Uh, and then you want to keep moving the winning keywords into the scale campaign, as I just showed you. And if ACOS is above break even, so typically break even is above 40%. Now, this really depends on the price of your book and, you know, whether it's an ebook or paperback. But if you're doing paperback, the average is 40%. So that is kind of the easy way to remember is if it's over 40%, you're most likely losing money a little bit or you're above break even. And if you're below 40% ACOS, then you're profiting. Okay. Now, if your ACOS, once again, is above break even point, then you want to lower the bids below the CPC. If your ACOS is below break even, then you want to increase the bid by three to five cents. And you want to do this at least two times a week. It should not take more than, you know, 20 to 30 minutes at a time. So it's really just an hour a week. So let me give you a demo on how to optimize the campaign. So we got this one campaign that's way overspending, although we didn't spend much, right? So we want to go to the targeting and we have this keyword that has a 62% ACOS, so it's above break even. Okay. And you can see that the CPC is 31, but our bid is 37. So because the ACOS is higher than uh, break even, we want to reduce the bid below CPC. So in our case, we want to go below 31 cent. So that's something like 30 cent, or you can do something like 28 cents. I usually like to go a few cents below the CPC. Okay. And you would just save that. 
Now, if this is below a cost and we want our bid to be higher than CPC, so it'll be something like 32, 33, 34 cents. And that is how you adjust it. If the A cost is the same as break even, so around 40%, then we don't have to do anything. So essentially, you want to do that optimization for every single target twice a week for each campaign that you have, which sounds like a lot of time. But once again, if you only have a couple books, if you only have a couple campaigns like this, then it should really only take you 10 to 30 minutes uh, twice a week. But as you scale and as you have more books and more campaigns in different markets, then yes, it does get a little crazy. And that is why eventually once you start making money, you know, you want to outsource Amazon ads. But it's important to start by doing everything yourself to learn the process. All right, so now let's talk about troubleshooting here. So if you have no or low impressions, on your campaigns, then what's either happening is you're bidding too low or targeting irrelevant keywords or products. Uh, so the solution to that is check your targets. You know, is the product or the keyword that you're targeting relevant to your book? If so, you don't have to change that. You most likely just want to increase the bids that you have. If you're getting impressions, but you're not getting clicks. So basically what's happening is people are seeing your ads, but they're not clicking on it, meaning your book is not attractive, right? So you want to improve the cover, the title, the reviews, perhaps it's the price as well, but that is what's happening. Now, if you're getting clicks, but no sales, that means people are seeing your ads because you're getting impressions. Uh, you're getting clicks, which means people are clicking on the book. So your cover is good. Your title is good. Everything we mentioned in the last slide is good. But for whatever reason, once they get to the product page, they're getting turned off and they're leaving. So that is, you know, something like book description that they're reading, A plus content, or maybe you don't have any A plus content. Uh, maybe they're going and reading the reviews further and, you know, something about the reviews, right? Maybe they're saying that your book is lacking in something and that's why they decide not to buy. So you want to improve exactly that description, A plus content and get more reviews. Now, if you're getting sales, so people are actually buying a book, but the A cost is too high, then you're overspending uh, relative to how much you make. Uh, so what you can do is to increase the book price so you can spend the same amount, but you can make more because your book price is higher or you can decrease the bid so you can try and spend less to increase that profit margin. So that is a two solution there. Now, let's talk about outsourcing because, you know, these are the exact steps that you can start. But once again, as do get crazy over time as you scale uh, the business. So this is one of the first things you wanna outsource so that you can focus on more important things like creating more books and getting reviews rather than you know wasting all your time optimizing these ads and doing these little tasks. So as are all about constant testing and tweaking, it's very simple work, but it's time consuming. It should be one of the first tasks you outsource and I recommend everyone to start outsourcing if you're making over $500 a month. So there's two services that I recommend uh, in terms of outsourcing Amazon ads. Now, obviously, you can go to Upwork and train a virtual assistant to run Amazon ads. Uh, it'll be cheaper than these services. So if you want to do that, you can. It's just going to be a lot more work for you and they may not be as good. Uh, these services, they are you know, experts, they know what they're doing. So uh, the two service that I recommend, one is Asdroid. I talk about them a couple times uh, in my previous videos as well, but they've been doing this for a very long time. They specialize in Amazon KDP, not Amazon FBA, because that's a slightly different approach, right? That they take over there. So you want someone that specializes in KDP. So if you guys uh, wanna check it out, then you can book a call and see if you're a good fit for them. Uh, same as this one, Backed By is another one uh, that I recommend. It's $550 a month. And, you know, the idea is not only will they free up the time for you, but you should be making more than $550 extra because now an expert is running ads for you. So don't look at this cost as, oh, I'm losing $550 a month. I should be making more than $550 a month uh, in extra profit by allowing an expert to run ads for me. And on top of that, you're freeing up time for yourself. So that is how you really view uh, outsourcing your task to someone. But it's the same thing. If you want to check it out, then you want to book a call with them, see if you guys are the right fit, and then you can work with them. So I'll leave a link to both of these services below this video. All right, guys, so that is the step-by-step -step how to get started with Amazon ads. So if you follow this tutorial step-by-step, -step, then I'm very confident that you can start making sales with ads. Now, obviously, I just want to say that there's a lot more you can do with Amazon ads. There's a lot more advanced strategies and different methods that I do cover in my complete publishing program. If you guys do want to check it out, there is a link below Below, so you can check it out through a direct link or you can go through the free training and in the end I do talk about the program a little bit now this is really a complete 
publishing program. It's not just video lessons. We literally hold your hand and you know walk you through step by step uh, in growing your publishing business. We got one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. We got private Facebook group where you can ask us questions uh, anytime. We got weekly Q&A calls. So really, you know, our goal is to help you scale your business. But if you can't afford it, no problem. That is exactly why I am making these YouTube videos for free so that you can start publishing and start making money. And hopefully as you start making money, you decide that you want to scale this further. So you come back and join our programs. So that's the goal here. Once again, if you do want to check it out, the link is below this video. We got a lot of students making four, five, or even six figures a month in our program. But once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't yet. If you guys made it to the end of the video, leave a comment below saying you made it to the end. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.